Welcome, and thank you for your interest in the OpenSAF webcast. I'm OpenSAF member Patrick McCarty, and I'll be leading this webcast, OpenSAF, today a high, today's high availability solution for tomorrow's application, which will provide you with a high-level overview of OpenSAF. This webcast will benefit engineer managers, product managers, by providing you with insights to, into benefits of implementing OpenSAF into your product. It will also benefit hardware and software developers and design architects by giving you a look into what's in store for the upcoming OpenSAF conference. To start, let's remind ourselves of what OpenSAF community is all about. OpenSAF is an established open source community focused on developing high availability middleware solutions consistent with the SA Forum or Service Availability Forum specification. There are many benefits of using OpenSAF from a development perspective as well as from a revenue perspective, and I'm going to touch upon a few of the primary benefits. OpenSAF uses a common framework that works across all distributed systems. Its, use, its uses and focus has primarily been in areas where high availability is a mandatory requirement, but there are considerable benefits to using it as a common infrastructure across distributed systems in general, which may have diverse requirements and technologies. Because the framework is modular, OpenSAF's architecture offers scalability, enabling companies to use only the services they need while providing future-proof solutions for next-generation devices. Since launching in 2008, the OpenSAF community has continued to grow and includes a robust ecosystem from many industry segments and standards areas. This has created a strong community of experts in all areas of high availability, working together to advance the ecosystem. All of these benefits are important but perhaps the most substantial benefit is the fact that OpenSAF is a proven solution that has been deployed by Motorola and Ericsson into multiple live networks. Previously, we talked about the vibrant community around OpenSAF, and it's worth taking a few moments to explore this further. Perhaps more than anything, this slide demonstrates the increasingly broad acceptance and adoption of OpenSAF in a broader range of areas. One important aspect of OpenSAF is that it's an implementation of a set of standards from the Service Availability Forum, which is further enhanced by the recommendations of standard bodies to use the technology, scope in the telecom world, and Navy open architecture in aerospace and defense. The growing ecosystem of technologies that integrate with or use OpenSAF is another key aspect. OpenSAF has been ported to all major COTS hardware technologies and is being implemented on pro proprietary systems. OpenSAF has been implemented on many Linux variants, the most common of which are shown here, as well as other operating systems such as Solaris. Perhaps what is most interesting is the application areas, where a growing number of companies are publicizing their integration and use of OpenSAF. The left-hand side of the chart illustrates the strong backing from commercial companies. Commercialization ranges from distributions and productization of the technology to a variety of support and services. Based on community activity, it is well recognized that there are significant deployments underway, and we expect an uptick in deployments as more companies are recognizing the value of building on an industry standard distributed framework. Thank you for attending this session. We hope this webcast provided a useful look into OpenSAF. For more information on OpenSAF, please visit www.opensaf.org. And stay tuned for more broadcasts presented by OpenSAF.